Hello friend, welcome in Oguild, a knowledge and skill sharing platform. In today's lecture of complete Python video lecture series, we will discuss about control flow statements in Python. So let's start. These are the contents that we will discuss in today's lecture video. That is what are control flow statements, decision control statements, iteration control statements, and finally we will discuss about jump control statements. So first of all we will understand what is control flow statements. So control flow statements are used to control the flow of execution inside the Python script. So most important thing is here that uh, uh, to control the flow of execution. Control the flow of execution. What it mean? We can understand with the help example. Suppose uh, this is our code, it, code editor window in Python. Uh, suppose we have write uh, we have written a uh, python script a equals to 10 b assignment 20 then c assignment a plus b and finally i print the value of c so this is first line this is second line this is third and this is one is fourth line so here the uh, flow of control uh, control of execution is line by line so that the control first go to the first line then uh, it will go to the second line then it will go to the third line then it will go to the fourth line so this type of control of execution is called sequential sequential control flow execution so this uh, so this definition define control flow statements are used to control the flow of execution in python we have three types of control flow statements first of one is uh, decision control statements as you see and second one is iteration control statements loops comes in this category and finally the jump control statement here in which we will discuss about break continue and pass so first of all we will understand what is decision control statements so decision control statements are used to decide the order of execution based on some condition most important thing is based on some condition we can understand this with the help of flow charts suppose this is our control flow and this control flow is depend on some condition uh, condition and this condition can be true or false if condition is true then some block of statement will be executed this block of statements will be executed and if condition is false then this block of statement will be executed so here the uh, control of execution based on some condition we can understand with the help of this example suppose uh, 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 with the help of this example we will understand for that first of all we understand how, how many type of con decision control flow statements in python so in python we have uh, three types of decision control statements uh, first one is uh, if statements first one is if statement and second one is uh, if else statement and third one is nested if else statement so first of all we will discuss about if statement simple if statement so in the if statement work like that uh, if uh, this is a keyword and uh, inside if we give the some condition and with this con if this condition is true then uh, the statement after this will be executed so statement or block of statement or block of block statements will be executed based on the conditions if condition is true then only this uh, line or this block of line uh, lines will be executed we can understand uh, with the help of this example if statement example here num is 10 num mod 2 that is 10 divide uh, by 2 remainder equals to 0 because we don't we do know that uh, 10 divided by 2 remainder is 0 so 0 equal to 0 condition is true so it will print the value uh, and this li line fourth uh, will be executed why because this condition is true so that's why it is printing the value uh, even number so if if uh, suppose the number is uh, num uh, equals to uh, number assigned value is 5 then it will check 5 mod 2 equal to 0 in this case 5 mod 2 remainder is 1 1 is equal to 0 condition false so this will not work so this is the working uh, way of if statement the next way uh, next is if else statement if else statement we have uh, work like that if statement 
if here we have first if then in if we give some condition and if this condition is true then uh, statement after that will be executed or block of statement will be executed executed else else other private of block of statement statements will be will be executed so here base here also based on condition if condition is true then uh, control flow is go the this part otherwise if condition is false then flow of control will be go to this this block part okay so in this example we can understand uh, like that if else uh, statement uh, num is equals to 5 if an num mod 2 equals to 0 here 5 mod 2 equal to 0 condition is check because we know 1 remainder is 1 1 is not equal to 0 condition false so it will not go to the fourth line control will not go to the fourth line control we go to, uh, to the sixth line so it will print odd so output is odd so if if condition is true then uh, corresponding statement will be executed otherwise it will go on else part similarly the third category is is nested if else statement so nested if else statement uh, uh, means we have plenty of options and uh, among plenty of options we have to choose uh, single one options so uh, this um, uh, work like that so uh, how uh, it work uh, is in this if uh, we sub first we will give condition and if this condition is true then statement 1 will be executed will be executed otherwise l l f e l i f else if condition 1 uh, suppose this is condition 1 this is condition true will be executed then then statement 2 will be executed l f l if again if condition 3 is satisfied then statement 3 will be executed or uh, we can say this block of statement uh, executed uh, if first condition is satisfied this block of statement executed otherwise uh, this block of statement if condition 2 is satisfied is true then this block of statement will be executed if condition 3 is true then this block of statement will be executed otherwise uh, similarly we can get give many uh, choices and uh, uh, many conditions and among those conditions if uh, particular condition will be satisfied if no condition will satisfy we will go else part in last dot 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 we can go in the final else part else we gave uh, some statements so uh, these are the uh, plenty of options first option second option third and fourth option in um, among many options we have to select uh, one option we can understand this with the example this example here we have num equals to 5 if num equals to 3 print 3 because 5 is not equal to 3 it will not go to this line again lf num equals to 4 then print 4 again this will not work this will not work and if lf num equals to 5 here 5 equal to 5 condition true so it will print 5 so output is 5 suppose we have given the value num equals to 7 so th this will not occur this will not true this will not true so uh, among many choices no choices is matching so it will finally go to the else part and it uh, print the invalid so uh, this else for which if uh, this is uh, this else is for first if okay so this is about nested if else statement let's do the practical demonstration in pycharm so that you will understand so first of all we will understand decision control statement So decision control statements, uh, first of all we will understand about simple if, simple if, so here we will give if then I will give some condition suppose, uh, first of all we suppose we have taken the number is 7 and here we are checking if A 
mod 2 equals to 0 and print E1. We will check E1. So just save this program and we will see what the output will be. So when we will execute this, you can see no output is generated because 7 mod 2 that is 1, 1 is not equal to 0. So this fifth line will not be executed. So uh, the output is nothing. So it will show nothing output. If uh, I will take the value is 6 and save this and uh, execute this. So in this case, you can see 6 mod 2, 6 mod 2, 6 mod 2 equals to 0, 0 equal to 0. Now condition is true. That's why output is even. So this is working of simple if statement. Now, now we will understand if else statement, if else statement. So if else statement, we will understand suppose this is the same thing and uh, if first of all we will give the condition if here and after that we will check so if condition is true then we will do this print uh, this block of statement otherwise else print we will check we will say print odd so let's check again now you can see uh, the uh, output is even y because 6 mod 2 equals to 0 so 0 equal to 0 so this uh, fifth line will be executed uh, sixth line will not be executed suppose I have taken the uh, value is 7 again I will execute uh, suppose I have taken a equals to 7 here and again I will execute this now you can see output is odd why because 7 mod 2 that is 1 1 equal to 0 condition false so the control will not go to the fifth line it will go to the sixth line and after the sixth line the block statement is a uh, single statement that is odd so it will print the odd so this is the working way of if else statement now you understand if else statements. Uh, finally, we will uh, understand uh, nested if else statement. Nested if else statements. So is uh, here uh, the working criteria is like that. First of all, we will get if condition if a equals to suppose one then we will print 1 then elif e l i f you can see uh, editor already do so elif if a equals to 2 print print 2 and, uh, similarly again next multiple choice that is a equals to suppose 3 then print 4 so th sorry 3 similarly we will can we can give uh, suppose similar way uh, suppose I am giving elif a equals to suppose I have given 7 then print we can give any number of LF statement then 7 and if no condition will satisfy in last else statement we will just print print wrong choice so let's see what will happen we'll save this first of all and execute this so now you can see the output is 7 why because uh, among these choices a equals to 1 condition is not match a equals to 2 condition not match 
a equal to 3 condition not match, a equal to 7, 7 is condition match, that's why it is printing 7. Suppose I will take the value is 4, then it will match the condition 4, uh, sorry 4, so 4 is not available, so it will cho uh, printing wrong choice. If I will take the value is 3, and when I will execute this, so in this case the output is 3. So now you understand uh, the working way of nested if else statement it work as a ladder if else ladder in which uh, we have plenty of choices uh, among these choices we have to select one choice so this is the way of working way of uh, nested if else statement now you uh, understand what is the meaning of uh, this nested if else statement so next uh, we will discuss about iteration control statements so what is iteration control statement uh, let's understand Iteration control statements loops, we, we also call this loop, are used to execute a block of block of statements until some condition is satisfied. Most important thing is some condition. Some condition is satisfied. So what is this condition? Uh, we will understand uh, uh, later. So uh, uh, Python in Python, iteration uh, control statements are two types. First one is while loop and second one is for loop. So first of all, we will understand while loop. So what is while loop? While loop is it iterate the block of statements until some condition is true, until some condition is true. So how it works? So let understand uh, here while is a keyword. While is a keyword. In while we give some condition. Then after that we uh, close the parenthesis and uh, give the colon symbol. And if the condition is true, only this condition is true, then this block of statement will be executed block of statements will be executed repeated way in repeated way until some condition is satisfied so uh, in this example you can understand here i assign a value 1 while i less than 6 here the condition is while loop is given i less than 6 so 1 is less than 6 it will print i and one value will print again i increment i equals to this is sort assignment operator you can understand this uh, in we have already made the video on operators in python you can uh, see that video so again i uh, value is i is 2 so 2 is less than 6 so it will print 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 when i uh, the, when the value of i is 6 then 6 is less than 6 condition false in this case condition is false so this uh, block of statement this block of statement will not be executed so it will print 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the working mechanism of while loop the next uh, loop that is for loop so for loop uh, how it work for loop uh, it is used to iterate over collection type so what is collection type if you don't uh, still don't understand go to the data type topic of our uh, ogil video lecture series and there you can understand what is collection type that is either a list tuple dictionary set or a string so how it works so in for loop we for is a keyword as, uh, as previously we understand that uh, while in while loop while is a keyword so similarly for loop in for loop for is a keyword for then variable name we write the uh, write the variable name then in keyword now after that we uh, take collection type collection type then we will write con uh, colon symbol and after that we will uh, if uh, condition is true satisfied then we execute the block of statement so block of statements will be executed similar way so in this example we can understand here the first uh, that is a name is a this is string type so for i in name so here uh, collection type is that string type so each time uh, the one character will go in i and it will print like that a then j then a then y so each time the value from the string comes into the i and it will print like that so here i is a variable name i is a i is a variable name and in is a keyword same way in is a keyword and the name this is uh, one type 
so uh, string type so each time uh, it is taking the value from uh, string type into i similarly if the uh, collection type is a list here the marks of four subjects uh, so each time it will break, uh, print uh, marks uh, take uh, mark, it will take one marks in, and assign into i and print the first it will print 90 then 70 then 80 then 60 similarly for tuple type similarly for dictionary we can see in this example so for loop work on the basis of collection types uh, and uh, string type auto it also work so uh, let's understand practically in pycharm so that you will understand uh, so we will go on pycharm so this is uh, our pycharm window so here we will write that is iteration control statement so in iteration control statement first of all we will understand while loop while loop so first of all uh, suppose we have given a equals to 1 1 value and while is a keyword and inside while I am giving the condition while a less than 6 I have given the condition then colon symbol first of all we will write while then condition then colon symbol and after that I am printing just printing the value of i print that is a and i equals to i plus equals to 1 so what it mean this is sort assignment operator if you don't uh, understand uh, uh, please see our video uh, our video of operators in python in this ogil video lecture series so there you will understand what is uh, sort assignment operator so first of all we will save this and check so here you can see the output is 1 2 3 4 5 why because each time it will check the condition in while loop first it will check the condition if the condition is true then only it will uh, print the uh, block of statement this block of statement is executed only if, if condition is true so 1 is less than 6 condition true 2 less than, uh, less than 6 condition true and uh, uh, same similarly 1 2 3 4 5 print when the last i a equals to 6 then 6 is not le less than 6 so then condition is false then it will not print the it will terminate from the loop so that it's so working way of this while loop next we will understand what is for loop so for loop uh, for loop we know that for loop is working on collection type so suppose we have taken uh, the this collection type as a suppose I have taken a string name uh, Ajay and the working way for first we will write for then variable name suppose I have taken i then in keyword then collection type then here we have take string type so I will I am printing the print i and when I will save this and execute this you can see the output is Ajay so uh, each time of this uh, string type it will take some one value and uh, assign into i and uh, print the value of i then it will print ajay similarly if we are taking the collection type here this is the example of string type if we are taking the collection type suppose marks we have taken marks uh, in four subjects 90 80 60 99 we have taken so uh, here uh, the collection type is marks so first we are write for keyword then variable name then marks we can take any variable name don't need, uh, understand marks of suppose I have taken marks one so I can take my any variable name so when I will save this and execute this you can see that uh, it will uh, print 90 80 60 99 each time uh, from this collection types it will take one value uh, and assign to the this variable marks one and it will print like that so we can take any collection type like tuple uh, or uh, we can take uh, set or we can take dictionary so now you understand uh, the working mechanism of for loop so this is about 
the for loop next uh, we will understand jump control statement so what is jump control statement let understand jump control statement are used to terminate from uh, terminate from the loop or skip some part of loop or skip some part of loop we will understand with the help of examples so there are three types of jump statements are used in python first one is break break is used to terminate from the loop if we want to uh, if we want that we want to terminate from the loop uh, based on some condition we don't want that full loop will execute if some condition is satisfied then the loop will terminate then we, we can use break keyword uh, so this is jump control statement we can use and the continue used to skip some part of iteration the continue will use if we want if we want that some part of the loop uh, we don't want to uh, print uh, those part we want to skip those parts so then on that cases we and the we will use continue and finally the pass pass is used to pass no action if we want that in our uh, loop uh, no action will uh, work so on that case we will just write pass keyword so we will understand it with the help of example so uh, here we have uh, this collection type marks 80 90 60 40 so here <clears throat> i don't i don't want to uh, i want uh, that uh, if the value is 60 then if this loop will not uh, work again it will terminate so here for i in marks that we have already discussed the uh, work, uh, the syntax of for loop if i equals to 60 uh, then it will uh, then it will break uh, or terminate from the loop so here we have write the break keyword else it will work like print the value of i so you can see first uh, 80 uh, 80 comes into i then 80 equal to 60 condition false so it will not break so 80 is printing now here again the value is 90 90 is not equal to 60 condition is false so again 90 is also else part so 90 is executed when the 60 comes into the i i equals to 60 then here condition is true condition now true because 60 equals to 60 so now break will work and it will terminate from the loop so here you can see that 80 and only 80 and 90 is printing so this is the working mechanism of break uh, jump state jump statement next the, we will understand about continue as a jump statement for i in marks if i equals to 60 then continue we have write continue else print the values uh, uh, print i so here you can see first it will take uh, 80 80 is not satisfied the conditions i uh, it is equal to 60 condition is not right it will print 80 so first of all it will print 80 then 90 is also not satisfied it will uh, print 90 then third condition that 60 now 60 equals to 60 condition is true so condition is true then continue is work so it this time uh, uh, loop print statement will skip and it will uh, forward the loop uh, forward the loop and uh, uh, skip the or skip the skip from the loop so uh, you can see the 60 is not uh, value is not printing here and after that 40 40 uh, equal to 60 condition against false so continue will not work then at, in this case 40 will print so uh, it is depend on us uh, which type, which values from the loop or which values from collection types we want to skip uh, on the basis of these conditions that uh, we can skip those values from the collection types and last uh, use of pass as a jump statement uh, in this for loop you can see for i in marks we don't want uh, we don't want any action so here we have just write pass keyword so we have write pass so if uh, pass uh, is written it will it it means we have no action if we will not write anything it will generate error so let's understand practically in pycharm so that you will understand fully uh, we will do the practical Im uh, implementation so this is our pycharm window so first of all we will understand jump control statement so first of all we will discuss about break so jump statement so 
so how it, um, uh, break will work suppose we have marks of subjects 80 then 70 then 60 then 50 we have taken then for I in marks and again I found some values also 77 then 66 and colon symbol then if I want check if I equals to 50 or 77 if I equals to 77 then I will break from this loop otherwise else it will print I and I won't print in same line so I will use second parameter and equals to this so it will print in same line so when I will save this and execute this you can see here so uh, <coughs> first time 80 comes into I I equals to a 77 80 not equal to 77 so 80 is printing then 70 also printing then 60 also printing then 50 also printing when 77 comes into the I then I 77 equal to 77 condition is true then it will break from the loop so 77 and 66 is not printing in the list only 80 70 60 50 is uh, printing in this uh, in this collection type so now you understand uh, the use of break statement let's understand the use of continue So continue uh, is jump statement is used to skip uh, some values. Suppose I want to skip uh, 50 and I also want to skip uh, 66 also I want to skip. So uh, if these condition is satisfied I will just write continue here. Once I will save this and when I will execute this you can see the output is 80 so first time 80 will come 80 uh, uh, 80 is not uh, either equal to 50 or 66 so 80 will print 70 is printing then 60 is also printing and then uh, for, uh, in fourth index uh, we have 50 when 50 comes uh, 50 equal to 50 this condition is true in or uh, in or operator if you don't understand the or operator you please go on the <coughs> our lecture video of operators in python logical operators then you will understand what is the use of or operator so here i equal to 50 condition mesh so this value in collection type this value is skipped so 50 is not printing again uh, 77 comes uh, it will not match in uh, in those or, or conditions so 77 is also printing but when uh, next last value 66 come into i then i equals to 50 this is not true but or in or condition i equals to 60 this is true so again continue will work then uh, this 66 value also skip so now here 50 and 66 are escaping so this is the working mechanism of continue jump statement now you understand the continue jump statement finally we will discuss about pass so what is the use of pass suppose here in for loop I want I don't want to any action if I will not write anything and I will save this and uh, execute this you can see the uh, uh, interpreter generate error, error that is indentation error expected indentation block here the uh, interpreter uh, saying that some in block of statement here must be so if uh, I don't want to any statement so I just will write pass so in this case I will just write pass and save this when I will just write pass so you uh, now you can understand uh, understand here no message is uh, a warning message is here now it is pass is pass means we don't want any action we just write pass uh, here uh, we don't want any action so uh, in situation where in for loop we don't want any actions so we want to avoid action to then we can uh, write the pass as a 
simple uh, jump statement uh, so it will not uh, print any things or it will not uh, uh, work any in any action so this is about the jump control statements uh, finally you understand so so this is all about uh, control flow statements in python uh, hope you understand if you have any uh, problem or any query in any videos uh, please write in comment section so that we will provide you uh, best possible solution you can go to the, our uh, learning platform ogil.com for the videos and uh, we have a, a youtube channel of ogil also you can uh, go on youtube and see the ogil video channel and uh, uh, see all our videos there so thank you